What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Max P. The P stands for gains, because that's what I'm getting. That's what I'm intending to have. And if I can't get it, then apparently I'm losing. And that ain't an option. I'm here to talk to you about a, a topic that a friend of mine asked me on Facebook. So let me go ahead and log into my Facebook here. So what we're doing here, looking at my Facebook, let's go to what my friend said. He asked me a question on my page. Timothy Truesdale, I mean to call you out, but you're going to be in this video. Hey bros, wanted to ask you guys something. I know you guys hit the gym also and need some advice and suggestions about leg workouts. I always had a terrible recovery rate on my legs, calves and shines, shins, shin signs to be exact. Everything else is good, but my legs get exhausted easy, cramped up too, and my recover on them sucks. Cardio on them is fine, I think because I have low arcs, I wear inserts, and can do heavy cardio on them without much problems unless it's basketball, but it's manageable. Any suggestions on leg workouts or lower body ones? That's a very good question. Um, so let me leave that up so I don't forget what your question is. But let's just uh, go to this website. First and foremost, uh, it just depends. Uh, I guess more insight needs to be known as, as to how long have you been working out your legs and what kind of workouts are you doing? I mean, just leg workouts in general is kind of vague. But to really go into detail what we do, we're more about... We're like amateur bodybuilders because we're really just worried about how we look. Strength is going to come because we're constantly lifting heavy stuff, but we're really trying to get these gains. And by gains, I mean muscle growth or getting leaner or looking looking better. That's what gains means. We're not trying to just say gains because we're in a gym knocking our way. We're actually trying to get muscle growth and have a that cut look. Not we're not gonna be super strong, but your legs are just like any other muscle, and in order to build their strength, you gotta work them somehow, some way. Now it depends on what you're doing. If you're, you wanna run, you gotta run more. You gotta do more endurance. You gotta get the flexibility up. I ain't an expert, but you know, you're not gonna get many gains from running because you gotta be lean to run. All that weight on your ankles and joints, you're gonna feel a lot of pain because basically is a lot. Yeah, 200 pounds of on your ankles is 200 pounds whether you're cut or slim or in shape so if you have less weight it'll be less stress on your, your ankles so it'd be best to lose weight if you want to be a good runner but if you're trying to bodybuild and, and, and you're feeling like you're hurting from running and you can't lift well maybe it's because you're doing too much of one than the other you don't really have to balance both if you want to be bodybuilding just lift just lift and lift weight lift to exhaustion and eventually you get used to it now a big thing you want to double check is are you using the right form because when you go to this website bodybuilding.com all our workouts we don't come up with them we we we, we follow somebody else's regimen like just let's, let's just look up leg workout you know somebody's gonna have a plan you know like this dude Mike O'Hearn I don't know who he is his name's O'Hearn but I'm gonna click it he has a leg workout so this dude here Apparently he jacked. He looked ripped. Let's see what he's doing. He got a little video. We can watch it. He's asking you to do barbell squats, leg press, leg extensions. And the good thing is they're gonna be there's gonna be a video to tell you how to do the proper form. A lot of people think your legs pushes all the power and where your strength comes from. No, your legs have many components. There's the calves, the quads, the hams, the glutes, and there's even your abs. Your abs are very important to pushing strong things in the legs. Now if you're just sitting on a machine, you may not use your abs as much. But you still want to get in the habit of squeezing your abs. I might be going too much detail, but check out a website, check out a regimen, and follow how their video will explain how to do it. And I just click this, and you can watch the videos. But don't don't worry so much about the weight. Get your form down first. It's gonna hurt for a couple weeks. If you do the form right, it's gonna hurt in the right places. That sounds weird, but basically what I'm saying is you shouldn't have lower back pain if you're working on calves. You know. You're doing calf raises on a standing machine and you got lower back pain. Apparently you're not, you don't have that arch in your back and you're over there lifting with your neck or something. Cause that's the only way I can see you can get back pain doing calf raises. But I digress. Anyways, I hope this answers the question. And if it doesn't, then maybe I'll go in further in detail. But just to go back to see, you said you have terrible recovery time. You gotta drink a lot of water, keep the muscles hydrated. Um, take vitamins that helps with recovery, especially uh, glutamine that will help with recovery. And uh, let's see what else. Everything else is good, but my legs get exhausted, easy cramp up too. If you're cramping, uh, that's 
that's not, you know, from cardio, if you're coming from cardio too early into it, that, that may not be a, um, that might be a physiological thing where like maybe you're not hydrated enough or you're not stretching or you're not loosening up. You know, we go ham in the gym, but we start off with bacon. Does that make any sense? We sizzle the bacon, we eat the bacon, and then we go to the pork loin and then we go ham, all full blown ham. Does that make sense? Anyways, tell me what you think. Like, comment, subscribe. It's your boy Max. I'm Audi 3000. Let's see what that looks like.